On January 10th, 2023, officers from the DeLand Police Department spotted a car driving recklessly in a Walmart parking lot. The car skidded into a nearby neighborhood, driven by a man named Axel, accompanied by his seemingly unstable girlfriend. The officers intervened, pulling the couple over and promptly apprehending them at gunpoint. Back now! What is your purpose? You're going to You're going to get changed if you don't fucking listen! Back up now! How about you come back? Back get up! Get on your knees. Tell me get on Get on your knees now. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. I got to do this extra. I got to do this extra. What's up, bud? Are we serious? You're yeah. under arrest. I'm under arrest? Yes. For what? Stand up. Can you relax, buddy? What is, what is this extra shit you got going on? Have a seat for now. So was that hard, brother? Like, why are you being so hostile? Get in the car. Get in the car. You want me to sit in here? That, did I start her? Thank you. You did. <laughs> you have any ID, ma'am? No, we live right here. Okay. All right. You don't understand please. what's going on? Can you, you can't drive speak? like that. Let me speak. Okay, speak. Let me speak. speak. First of all, we just got out of Walmart. The mm -hmm. light was shut off. We were trying to go home as fast we as possible. We heard you. We heard you. Relax. Re There's relax. no. We have no point. arms. We know our laws. We have okay. no arms. Nothing that can endanger us. You were driving recklessly, anything. though. He wasn't driving recklessly. Okay. He was walking right. straight over here. Do you have any ID on you? I can go get it if you guys would not you treat my boyfriend any? like he's a criminal because he is not. Okay. And you're not going to do that. Okay. Because I'll call my lawyer right have, now. Okay, that's fine. I'm just asking. Do you have an ID I'm or not? telling you I can go get it from home, but you're not going to okay. treat my boyfriend like he's some criminal. I'm not treating your boyfriend like he's he a criminal. He just did, and he just did to me okay. too. Okay, all right. Because we just have had a situation at Walmart with racial issues, and we're not going to do it again. Okay, well, I know my rights, and he, he didn't need to do that. Nobody's boyfriend. making anything racial, okay? He did not do that. He didn't need to have his cup. Amy, I am telling him to put his arms up when okay, he has nothing fine. illegal. And you can't drive recklessly in here. And number two, you need to abide by what we say because we're giving you lawful commands. If he's not doing it, then we can go he's ahead and arrest him. He's not doing anything illegal okay. for to give you right. commands. Well, that's fine. That's what you think. All right, just hang so tight in know. here. Okay, all right. You know more than I do. Because he has no, no arms, no nothing to be to making him okay. treating like he needs to come out with his arms up or anything like anything. No. The fuck? You're not going to do it with me. My boy, if you're not going to do it with me, you're not going to do it with nobody. Fuck out of here. My dear. Yeah. I just told your officer that my ID's at my house. If you want me to go get it, I can go get it. That's right. Her name is her date of birth. J-A. What's that? J-A. L-I-X-M. What's that? X-M. Okay, we can go ahead and get have her get herself out, ID her, then I'm doing the car so we can do an inventory of the vehicle. A what on the vehicle? You, you can grab your stuff, um, whatever is yours, because we're taking the vehicle. All right, when you step out, just be calm and relax and listen to what I say. And I'm going to fix those cuffs for you. Come on, step up. Take the car, bud. Don't move your wrist, I'm trying to make it where it won't hurt you, buddy. So, how long is the reckless driving? He's going to explain everything in a second, okay? I just want to use common sense here as to I'm going in a straight line in fourth gear. I want you to use common sense when you're driving like the way you were. Bro, <laughs> you really passed me when I was in third. I'm not your bro. We heard you from Walmart. I have a straight. We I, heard I you from that. Walmart. You were leaving Walmart. You were driving without. Any, you were driving without any headlights. Hey, but you you squealed tires coming. Huh? How do you pop your trunk? How do I pop my trunk? Yeah, how do you Can I show you? It's really not. And then you explain. you came spinning tires out of the Walmart parking lot, hauling ass down Beer Street, doing over sixty. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you, okay? You're not because you passed by me. <laughs> like you can't sit here and tell me you was not my speed when you're passing by me. I saw you. I did a vis visual estimate on your speed, and you I can't. You heard him. He did a visible estimate on my speed. Well, although it may seem absurd, officers have the authority to conduct traffic stops based on visual assessments. However, the validity of such judgment relies heavily on an officer's training, and can serve as evidence in court, potentially benefiting the defendant. Nonetheless, in the upcoming situation with this couple, their actions will go well beyond the bounds of any legal recourse. <laughs> Funny thing is, you're still going to jail. Are you guys taking him too? Yes. Resistant? Resisting. Resisting. Like he resisted? I guess, I guess he gave him some lawful orders to put his hands up or whatever. But I seen him put his hands up. Papi, callate. Papi, callate. 
Cállate, por favor. Yeah. Quédate callado. Porque yeah. si esto cabrón te dice algo, mal, me voy a poner yo y yo no voy para pa la cárcel tampoco. Por favor, cállate. En the last. They're not going to manhandle him. They're not going to manhandle him. They're not going to make they sure they treat him right. The well, make sure do. they treat him right. Papi, they... get in the car easily and you'll be fine. But you're not going to manhandle him. Listen, nothing's going on. We have everything on body camera. I just keep him shoving him. You don't need to tell me shit. Well, he needs to listen to what we're saying. You're not going to tell me shit because I just seen him pushing him and all he's doing is standing there. Okay, the fuck? Again, regardless of what's happening. Regardless of nothing, you don't need a manhandle and he can get in the car by himself. Nothing. I seen too many of the shit, experienced too many with my family. You're not going to do it again. Leave me alone. Get on my way. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm making sure that that's, he's getting in that, the car. That's, that's, that's perfectly, perfectly fine. fine with his own will. You're not that's going perfectly fine. There. That's all I do now. And I, okay, do you see me walking towards the car? No. I'm letting you know that. I'm witnessing because nobody's going to move me from here until my car, my boyfriend gets in the car by himself without nobody pushing and shoving him. Okay. If he complies, he'll get in. He's complying perfectly fine. I'm watching him. Jalixmar makes a good point here. Keeping aside his reckless driving, the boyfriend has done very little to resist the officer's command. If anything, he has been complying with every command given to him besides a few arguments. Ironically, though, Jalixmar is about to do something that incriminates her more than her boyfriend. Bro, he said he estimated my speed with his yeah, eyes. Like, what's the fuck? <laughs> and don't listen to any of what these son of a bitch need to say. You done? You go to jail? You so lucky I didn't fucking record whenever you were telling him to put his arms up because he fucking did it and you know that shit. Somebody's coming somebody's to pick up my groceries, don't worry. You guys can all back up from me now because I don't need y'all help. And you don't need to be looking through the party because hey, back up. Back up. There is no back up. Back up. Back up. No such thing. Don't fucking touch me. Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Relax. Don't fucking touch me. I'm not even fucking touching you. Get cuffs. charged with uh, reckless driving and resisting police so those are the charges that he's gonna have and then she's gonna have resisting okay which they're misdemeanors okay so it'd be I don't know uh, if they do like 10% or whatever it is could be 500 bucks could be a thousand for both I of them to bond them out or they'll stay the night and then they'll get released in the morning tow trucks here Ultimately, both Jalixmar and Axel were charged with resisting an officer without violence, resulting in a $500 bond for both. However, Axel's situation would be worse as he was given an additional charge for reckless driving, which also had a bond of $500. In the end, both Jelmer and Axel faced charges of resisting an officer without violence, leading to a $500 bond each. However, Axel's situation became more severe because he received an extra charge for reckless driving, also carrying a $500 bond.